Hey everyone, welcome to another video of Flight Simulator 2020. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate how to perform a VOR approach. So today I selected uh, Airport St. Simons Island, that's Kilo Sierra Sierra India, KSSI. I will put the link in the description. So here we are at an altitude around 5,300. I'll descend since it's um, quite high. So I just figure I'll show you how to do it. But for now, I want to tune into the frequency, make sure it's correct. So I'm just going to establish 109.8. That's the frequency for the VOR or the Vortec at the St. Simon. So it's 109.8. I'm putting both navs. And I'm just going to adjust the radio to an approach course. Or should I up? Actually, no. I would set, I would just set the radio to pay where my position is. So right there, the needle's moving, so around, let's see, if the needle's right there, so that means, based on my current position, I am on the 190 radial, so that means I've got to turn to a heading around 020 in order to be, in order to head towards the vortex, so I'll just start my turn right there. At, at the same time, we're descending, so as you can see, as I'm getting close to my heading of uh, zero, around 020, zero zero, you'll see the needle might move right there. No, I'm actually, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I adjusted the radial to the zero, uh, zero 015020. Zero zero. So that means I'm actually heading towards the station, the Vortec. So I'll just go briefly with the uh, approach plate for the VOR, VOR runway 04 to St. Simons. So uh, as I previously said in the ILS approach video, you want to brief it from top to bottom, left to right. So we're just going to go through it together. So we're going to go Vortec SSI is 109.8. I already tuned in that. I'm certain that's the correct frequency, but it's always good to verify by tuning in Morse code. The approach course, once you fly over the Vortec, is 027 degrees. The runway length is 4,798. The touchdown zone elevation is 16, and the airport elevation is 19. So there's actually a slight up. Uh, let's see, the runway is tilted upwards from what I'm seeing from the touchdown zone elevation. And then we have the little notes that are important somehow, but we still got brief through. So it's runway four helicopter visibility reduction below three fourths touch miles is not applicable. Circling runway one six twenty two two. 3 4 is not applicable at night, so you're not, you can't circle at night. And then you have the missed approach, that means that if you fail to make the runway or abandon it, I should say, you'll be making a climb and right turn to 2000, direct towards the vortex, and hold from there. So that weather for the SOS ASOS is 120.025, the Jacksonville Center is where you talk to. ATC guys is 126.75, uh, 2774 is another frequency. And you have Unicom, that's where you communicate with uh, other aircrafts that are flying around the area. So it's like you collectively, collectively would hear other people talk to each other, you know, to announce their position, where their current status is in terms of the airport. So that's 123.05, that's CTAF. And then we're continuing downwards. So 2,000 feet is our minimum. We can't go below that until we cross over the Vortec at St. Simons. So we're going to do a straight in on runway 4. Our MDA, or minimum decision altitude, is 500. And one mile visibility is, is a must. So we are a category aircraft. We're not that fast, so that's our... So we're a category air aircraft, and our so the final approach fixed is the Vortec. You see an X, or the you know the X on the treasure map. That's the one. That's the FAF. And from there, you can start descending towards your minimum of 500 feet. Now, once you reach 500 feet, that's your the lowest altitude you can be at. And at that point, you should have at least the runway in sight, or else you'll have to discontinue the approach and go missed from there. And that's where the missed approach part of the approach plate comes in. The where it says missed approach, that's where you, where it says missed approach, that's where you perform the action of climbing to 2,000, 
tur turn and from that sweet you see the must approach chart this the missed approach portion of the chart that that action is performed once you don't have the runway sign and you and you choose to abandon the landing that's where you do a climb right turn 2000 direct to the vortex and hold from there that's where that comes in but if you do have the runway sign you can proceed if the runway is inside 500 feet you can continue it and from there and on the right side you'll see that the, that's pretty much hypothetically the airport diagram the X is on the the gray line is a closed taxiway you can't use it or utilize it for anything these here are the the, the threshold well, that means that you have to land ahead of it not not behind it taxi operation can be used takeoff and taxi operation can be used be behind the threshold uh, bar, and then you're going to notice that notice it's FAF to MAP is 6.3 nautical miles. That means that from once you cross over the Vortac, you uh, you would time it. So that means yeah, that's assuming that we are traveling at 9 knots, descending towards the minimum altitude of 500. From the find the from the Vortac, that's 2,000 feet from St. Simon's Vortac to the missed approach point of 500 feet within 6.3 nautical miles it should take you around 6 minutes and 18 seconds to have the runway in sight if you do not have the runway in sight you cannot make the landing and you must do the missed approach procedure so here we go we're, I, I'm already at 2,000 feet we're cruising there you're gonna see I already set everything uh, somewhat around 030 radial now just for fun I just I'm gonna fly a heading of north 360 until the needle comes alive I think it's moving yes it's moving so when the needle that's on the left is transitioning to the center I'll make a slight incremental turns to the right like around slow increments not that much difference so so you do just make sure you don't you don't overshoot it right there so the more closer the needle is to the circle in the middle, the more you want to make sure you're close to your approach course of 027. So the more close there it is, it's getting closer and closer. Now I'm going to start my turn to 027 or close enough 030 to make sure it's on the center. Now here's an important note though. The more, as you as you approach the vortex, you're going to notice that the needle is going to start drifting away from the center of the circle. It does not mean that you're off course, it just means that you're approaching the vortex and that you, you see the arrow that has it um, pointing upwards, that's grayish and white arrow. That means you're heading towards the vortex. The more close you are to the vortex, it's going to flip to a downwards, that means you crossed over it, like you'll see momentarily. So at, here we are, we're getting close to the vortex SSI, the needle is going to start drifting away. That means you're getting so very close to this. So the objective, just continue heading of 030. Do not chase the needle. That's the worst mistake a pilot can make. And here you see the transition. The arrows flip to a behind to the back of us. That means we just crossed the vortex. We're already past it, right? So yeah, we are. We're already past the vortex. That's why we have a an arrow point behind us. So right now we are past the vortex. We're gonna start descending at the carb heat down to 500 feet. That's our MDA. Now, now in regards to the, what I was discussing earlier about the needle, not chasing the needle. This is the most important thing that during instrument training that we as pilots should avoid because the, we are accustomed to making mistakes. That's normal, but as long as we don't repeat it, it happens quite often. Pilots will assume that they're actually off course from the vortex but in reality they actually are just crossing over it that's why they assumedly think that by going towards the needle that's gonna solve it which it isn't really so that's why it's important to, to be adjusted and be prepared with the approach course and the altitude and the frequency right before you even cross over the vortex to avoid any of this zone of confusion as they call it so obviously I have the runway in sight so at 500 feet that's 
that's the altitude where I decide to either airport the site. At 500 feet, that's the at 500 feet, that's my decision at which I either have the runway site or I abet or I discontinue landing and do the Mr. Post procedure. But right now I have the landing, uh, excuse me, I have the airport site. That's obviously. So I'll just keep on continuing and make sure that you're on the heading of 027 and the approach course because that will lead you to the airport. So as you can see right here, we're on the center line. On the, excuse me, the center line. The, the needle is center, which will guide us to the airport. So right now that's 500 MDA. I already have the airport site, so I'll just continue. I will continue that approach. And then I'll just make sure that the... And of course you would tune into the ASOS. That's the weather station to make sure how what's the weather status and all that. And after that, you switch off the Unicom of 123.05 to announce where you are, what's your intention. So right now, my intention, I'm like less than two miles, definitely. About the, I'm on final for the VOR runway four, full stop landing. And then that's when all the traffic's here from you. So here we go, we're just keeping it at 65 knots, very nice, smooth, uh, stable approach. Now you, you don't have to follow the needle no more because you already have the airport site, so you're just going to make a normal visual landing from there. There we go, make sure it's nothing more than 1,000 feet descent rate. There we go, so right there. You remember I talked about the threshold? That's a threshold right there. You have to land ahead of it, not behind it. So here we go, Prowl Powered Idle. And just part of this landing. There we go. So yes, this is how you perform a VOR approach. Kilo Sierra, Sierra India, traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra, it's very fun and Golf, very, Sierra, one mile you know, it keeps the pilot to land, um, busy and not just, not just idle. I mean, that's what I like about it. it's old school. I mean, that's that's pretty much, I guess, the only thing that's old school from the past. I mean, they remove all the ADFs and all that. So yeah, hopefully you find this very helpful. Um, pretty much, if there's anything that's suggested or you want me to perform, feel free to comment below and I'll read through that and I'll possibly do that in future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey there, I think you just reached the end of the video. If you like this video and find it very informative and helpful, then please consider subscribing for more future videos.